Hi everybody, Nigel and Danny here today and we're going to have a quick chat about album exposure which has been integrated into the newest release of Photo Junction 1.38b. Now Danny's going to give us a little bit of a demo, so uh, Danny why don't you take, us, take it away and show us what it's all about. Okay cool, and before I do, a quick explanation of album exposure. Album exposure is an online album proofing tool for you to show your designs to your clients. So it's an opportunity for the bride and groom to see their album, for instance, and leave comments. And then those get mapped back into Photo Junction. So um, it's, it's really what you'd expect when there's a, with the partnership or the integration between Photo Junction and album exposure. So I'll get into showing you how to set it up. If I go to the Preferences in Photo Junction, there's a new tab, Album Exposure, at the bottom. Now, I can choose New User or Existing User. And if I click New User, it'll go through the Album Exposure registration process. And all the details that you filled in Photo Junction will be filled in too, like your name and your email address and things. Okay. Now, I should pause. If, if you don't know um, uh, much about Album Exposure, if you want more information, if you click on the banner at the top, that will take you to the page. Right. But um, I'm convinced and an existing user, so I don't need to, to fill that. So I'll put my um, existing username in. Okay, now these are details you only need to fill in once when you're first setting up album exposure in the preferences. Yeah, that's right. So Photo Junction uh, needs to link to your album exposure account. And when I hit next, it now proceeds to the normal album exposure preferences window. And these preferences are pretty good by default. Uh, so you can have a look at them later on in your own time, but I'll just save these and get into the actual process. Okay, let me open up an album. Okay, I've got an album here that I've opened up. I've pre-designed this and I'm happy with the design. Now it's time to upload to Album Exposure so that my bride and groom can view it. Okay, so if I go to the album menu, the new feature there is listed Proof with Album Exposure. And if I click on that, I, I can give it an al album name. Now this was pulled in from Photo Junction, but I could change it if I wanted to and, and maybe the bride and groom's name. Uh, I need to give it a password. Again, you need to share this with the bride and groom um, so that they can log in. I could select a song from my selection in my album exposure account. Uh, I won't have any songs on mine for now. And I could also use the high-res exports from Photo Junction. So if you had exported the design and done some work on the high-res proof, the high-res uh, files, then you could use those to upload to Album Exposure. Okay. Now I'll click Done, and this is going to send it up to Album Exposure. It takes about a minute or so. Okay, cool. Now if someone wanted to try out this feature, uh, is there a free trial or something that they can try out uh, before subscribing to Album Exposure? Yeah, that's right. So when you register in Photo Junction, you'll automatically create a demonstration account with Album Exposure. It's fully featured so that you can use it with a real album with a real bride and groom, and they wouldn't know that this was a trial account. And uh, I think you get two free goes before you have to buy. Cool. Okay, we're almost done here, and Photo Junction's going to open the URL that this album is going to be displayed at so that you can share it with your bride and groom and you can actually see what it's going to look like. Now if I just go back to Photo Junction real quick, it's telling me that, I, uh, that it's been successfully uploaded so I can just hit OK and close out of that. Um, and while I'm at it, I'll close this album and you'll notice that it'll ask me if I'd like to sync, to, um, sync my design to album exposure and in this case I haven't made any changes so I'll click Don't Sync, and I'll close the event window. Okay, now back to album exposure. And I'm going to log in, pretending to be a bride and groom. So I'll use the password that was supplied to me. And now this is going to load up the, the album exposure user interface that you are familiar with. And if you're new to album exposure, um, it's beautifully simple. It's just a digital representation of the album, and you can drag and turn the pages or you can use the arrow keys to navigate back and forth. And one of the really neat features is about leaving comments uh, on the spread, on the design. And again from the bride and groom's perspective I can click and say this is lovely 
but you know the favorite word but when it comes to when they've got to tell you something bad and they would go through and leave comments on the spreads that they needed and then at the end of the process they would click this button here to say i've got changes send all the comments okay and when that does it it kind of saves it to album exposures database and i'm gonna close this um session down and just pretend that that was all the bride and groom wanted to say and go back to photo junction and open this album up again but now again from the photographer's perspective okay i've reopened the album now and if i navigate to the page in photo junction where i've left the comment you'll notice that there's a new icon there listed the album exposure icon in the top left hand corner and when i mouse over that it shows me the comment that the bride and groom left this is lovely but and it would be, you know, whatever they had to say about your design. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. It seems pretty easy, but uh, that's really all there is to it. And we're really happy with how things have worked out. And we've got some neat things on the way. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Cool. Thanks a lot, Danny. It sounds really simple and uh, certainly a great uh, partnership with Album Exposure. So we look forward to checking it out and using it. Okay, cheers. We'll see you soon.